Hey, hello, my beautiful geeks. How is everybody doing today? Welcome to the Geek Fortress. I'm your host, Lewis, and today I'm bringing you, you saw that correctly, Vault 111's suit from Fallout 4. We're gonna make a hoodie for this one, guys. Uh, you can make short sleeves, you can make a tank top if you want, whatever you want, but just to keep with the aesthetic of the item itself, which would be the hoodie, I'm gonna go ahead and make, excuse me, of the suit, I'm gonna go ahead and make a hoodie, okay? Uh, I hope everybody had fun with the bug of competition. These are my trophies. Yeah, my mini me loves it. Uh, so without any further ado, we're gonna get right into this design, guys. It's it's the very easy design, so it should be no problem for you guys to follow along from home. And even with the hard ones, there shouldn't be a problem because you can just take your time. Don't forget that, okay? So let's get right to it. That's the wrong place. And as per usual, we're going to start with a blank canvas, and we're gonna go ahead and change our design. Uh, the two shades that we're going to need for yellow and blue are the following. So you're going to need yellow with this HVB right here. Just like that. And you're going to need a blue with an HVB that's not blue, like this. Okay? And you can just use the blue and the yellow that's already in here. But if you want it closer to like... The Vault Boy character, because that's exactly the color that I'm going for. Not so much the game, because those are very vivid. Uh, so it's not going to be as vivid. This is more like a cartoony uh, Vault Boy type of design for the Vault 111 suit, okay? But that's what we're going to need. Awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and turn on mirroring, because mirroring is awesome and it makes our life a lot easier. And we're going to grab our yellow, or the yellow that we created in this case, okay? We're going to grab our biggest square. And we're gonna go right here all the way at the bottom and we're going to go across like so okay awesome now right here we're gonna change to our two square and we're gonna go all the way up stop right here in the east west line as a reference point and then you're gonna go up one if you want to make it just like this so it's a little more easy you're gonna go one two three four five six seven and eight and then you can go up one more right here and then you're gonna go one two three and four you're gonna go up one two up one and then you're gonna bring it all the way home up here so we're going to make the shape of the hoodie basically okay and then we're going to cover everything in here yellow yeah even the parts that do not show like I say I like to cover them just in case I like to cover all corners just in case that you can see the inside of the hoodie, it also looks yellow and it's a consistent color. Sweet. Now, for uh, the back, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna flip it right here at the very top. And this is where a decision comes up to you. You can make it either go all the way down to where the hoodie ends and make the whole hoodie yellow, or you can make part of it yellow and the rest blue so that it looks more like the actual vault suit. In my case, I'm not going to make the whole hoodie yellow. I'm just going to make part of it yellow. So basically, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to do one, two, three, over, down, over, down. And that is as far down as I'm going to make my hoodie go. You can cover the whole hoodie if you want, guys. Do not forget that. You can cover the whole thing all the way down to the bottom of it. Or in this case, you can just do this like I'm doing it, okay? Now... Go back to the front real quick just so that you have a guide as to where you're going to start, which is going to be right here, so that you complete the area like so. Boom. Now, the easiest part about this is going to be it's going to make the 111 because you're just making three number ones, which are just three sticks. So the best way to do this is from this right here, from this point right here. So from the very top, you're going to count one, two three four five six and on the seventh right here you're gonna go and you're gonna go one two and then all the way down and you can make it as long or as short as you want okay now we're gonna go over around four so one two three four so right here as long as you have four uh, four spaces in between you're gonna go up and then right here you're gonna do the same thing and you're gonna go down like so awesome now, for the arms or the sleeves, we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to go up to four. So right around right here from the bottom, and you're going to cover it right down here as well. 
And for the other side, you're gonna do the same thing. Don't forget that you can also just do copy and paste, but in this case, I'm only doing it like so. Awesome. So now you have the main outline of what's going to be the uh, yellow part of the hoodie. And now to make some magic, we're gonna go ahead and grab our blue, and we're going to fill this in, fill this in, fill this in, and fill this in, just like that. <laughs> and just like that, guys, like magic, we have our Vault 11, uh, 111 hoodie, just like that. And you can get crazier with this one, guys. You can make the bottom extend a little more if you want it to go up a little further. As if you wanted to cover the whole uh, bottom line, just turn on your mirroring, and then you can just go right here. And then you can fill it in like that if you want it to extend more. And then you can extend it a little more right there. And if Vault 111 is not your favorite vault, if it's another vault that you like, if you want to go with, let's say, for example, uh, one of the vaults from Fallout 3 or from New Vegas, you can just put that number instead. Okay? So that is something really cool to keep in mind. Now, uh, the part with the hoodie, like I was saying, you can definitely extend it or it is up to you if you just want to leave it like I did it right here. If you want to leave the shade of blue and yellow like the original shade is for uh, the palette, you can definitely do that as well. You don't have to go crazy changing it to this HVB. Like I said, I just was trying to get it close to Vault Boy's uh, design of Vault 111, okay? Uh, another thing that you can do if you really want to go crazy is right here in the front, you can make some sort of circular shape, which would be something like this. So that it could be like you have the, the vault symbol or something like that. You can maybe extend it like this or like this. It's, it's up to you. Again, you don't have to go super crazy. Something like that. Or... Um, you can just leave the circle honestly you can just leave the circle like so and then you can maybe just put like a couple more right here maybe like one here or one down here the sky's the limit whatever you guys think would look better you can do that as well so just with the circle it, it does a really cool effect and then maybe you can just fill it in like this boom and then just it makes it pop a little that's something that you guys can do as well and after that, we can just find some pants and then maybe some weird helmet and then we can have sort of like a um, Fallout themed character uh, cosplay. So we're gonna go ahead and confirm it. Boom. Super easy design, guys, but so effective. And nope, there we go. And we're wearing it right there. Boom, look at that. And then we can really, really get into it. If we go inside, and we see what we have. We can maybe put some stuff on, some clothes, some pants, some boots to make it look even more badass. Let's see what we have. Let's change. Yes, I would like to get change. Let's see, what kind of pants can we put on with this? Uh, maybe we have some sort of goggles or something. We can maybe put that. Ooh, or maybe one of these. Something like that. Or night vision goggles, maybe. I don't know. Sky's the limit. Let's see. Uh, I think I like this one. I'm going to go with this one. It is a nuclear apocalypse out there all out there. Uh, I don't know why, but I want to put on some blue thighs. And after I put on the blue tights... Uh, Maybe these shoes right here, or maybe this one's right here. Anything that you really have that can look like Fallout. -y. Ooh, this trekking shoes look cool. That's what I want to go with. And then for the bottoms, something that could go with that could maybe go BBs. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool uh, blue color. Maybe even the slacks. Ooh, the slacks look good. There you go. That's what I'm gonna go with. And then we can even go a little crazy and put a little hat. Like if you don't want to wear that mask, you can wear something with, let's see, what can we put on? Oh, maybe a helmet like this, it would be like a power armor helmet. That's something. Just put a zap helmet on. <laughs> uh, something like this. Look at that. I don't know why, but that reminds me of Fallout. He's like a raider. He actually looks like... Uh, one of the soldiers from New Vegas. So you have New Vegas and Fallout 4 combined into one. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Boom. <laughs> there you go. You have the front, you have the back, and even though you can't say it by his you can't tell by his face, he's really happy. Right, meaning me? Oh yeah.
If you guys enjoyed this video, guys, please do not forget to like and to subscribe. As per usual, you guys have been awesome, guys. Please do not forget to share this video with everybody who might love Animal Crossing, who anybody who might love Fallout. And uh, if you really, 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 really enjoyed this design, again, don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on those notification bells so you don't miss any other designs made by this little guy right here. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. You have been awesome. I have been Lewis. Until the next time, guys, do me a favor. Stay awesome and geek on. Until the next time, this is my mini-me saying bye. <laughs>